Hey you guys, so I am so excited today to be sharing with you all a beauty haul. I feel like it's been a hot second since I've done one of these. I maybe hasn't been, but I just I feel like it's been a long time since I bought some fun beauty stuff. You know, like sometimes you have you know, so you repurchase things that you need, like your moisturizer, your thing, which some of that is in here too, but there's some things that are kind of like fun things or maybe like even something a little more expensive or something that you kind of, when you're shopping online, might put in like that wish list section or something like in, you know, this, you might like save it, you know, to buy later. And I'm just really, really, I don't know, I'm just really, really excited about these things because I think a lot of these are kind of like, kind of like that. So there's some little things, there's some kind of bigger things, really really good things. I, you guys know I'm like so obsessed with this R & Co shampoo and all that and I'm just, I'm so thrilled that now they're finally selling it at Nordstrom. They did that with Orbe too, do you remember? And I'm going to do a little update on that because I do have a few things that I purchased that I want to kind of update on. But yeah, I feel like I've done like clothing hauls and I did, you know, like I'll, I'd show like things I got for Christmas or whatever, but I just feel like it's been a long time since I've done like a true beauty haul, okay? A few things that have really excited me, like you know sometimes like there's a fragrance that you just have to smell or there's like a lipstick that you just like have to get. I feel like lately I've just been excited about more things and I'll tell you why and I'll do a whole other video about this and I think this is like kind of silly but I've really been on this just quest over the last couple of years in my home, in my makeup collection to pare down everything to just the good things, like really, really good things. And, you know, not hang on to things that are just kind of like junk. And I am, I'm so thrilled. Like I, I'll have to do another video on this, like I said, but my makeup collection is more pared down than ever, but it's, I still feel like I've got so much. Like I feel like I've got more. I think that's what, it, I feel like even though I've got less, I feel like I've got more because I've kept just the good things. So I feel like I've got this big collection of or a small collection of good things, but everything's good, so I feel like my collection's bigger than it would be if it was just a bunch of crap. Okay, and maybe that makes no sense, but, but, but you know, I, I feel like because of that, and I've done such a good job with it, I felt like justified in saying, okay, well, you know what? I don't have that many lipsticks, so if I want to buy a new one, I'm going to buy a new one if I'm really excited about it. I'm not going to, like, say, oh, this new line came out. Let me just buy, like, three or four shades just for the heck of it, but if I'm really excited about something, I'm going to treat myself, so that's kind of what I did. So let's start first. This is kind of like a, okay, so it's kind of like a new year, new makeup, new things. You guys, I've got so many good things. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm just like, I'm really excited in my mind. Okay. The R & Co shampoos. You guys know a long time ago I got the sample of the Bel Air one. This is a brand that has really only been available like... I wouldn't even say a handful of places. It's been available like places that, like I really don't shop or a place I really don't like shop a lot and I am so thrilled now that they have it at Nordstrom. Same with the Oribe. It's kind of like the same type of thing. So anyways, then I purchased the Bel Air and then uh, used that and then re most recently I've been using the Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner and when I got it, I was like, it's kind of weird because it's not super purple like you think a blonde shampoo should be, but it's Actually, I think it might be even better, especially for me right now. Oh no, I, I, I like the tone of my hair. It is a very shimmery, like silvery lavender shampoo and conditioner. Um, these are called Sunset Boulevard. The, uh, I don't know, they're just named after weird places. It's not all California places, it's just, um, you know, but aren't those cute? I just, I love the packaging. And you guys know, like, I don't, I'm not picky about shampoos. I mean, I'm picky about shampoos, but I'm not, like, a shampoo snob where I think I've got to only buy expensive shampoo. Like, I will buy things from the drugstore. You guys know that. But if I find something that's expensive that works, it almost says more that I'm buying an expensive shampoo because you guys know that I'm just not an expensive shampoo person. Um, so anyways, I was so excited to repurchase this because I had been using another one and I thought, you know, when that runs out, I'm going to just repurchase what I like. So this is the Bel Air. And I love the packaging on these. These are just so cute. This one has like a little pink uh, like chandelier. Then this one has a cute little house with some palm trees. So this shampoo is a smoothing shampoo and conditioner. And I'm not kidding. I need to use it. Obviously, I'll use it next. Um, it's so good. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It's just beautiful. It's, it's, a, they're just, it's a beautiful line of shampoos. And um, I love the way that they look in my shower. But... They work really well. And, okay, this is what I love, too. When you get, like, beauty stuff from Nordstrom, they do the best free gifts. Because it's like, it's, it, I don't know, it's not like buying somewhere else, you know, where it's not like a department store where, like, when certain brands do gifts, you get the gifts. So I love that when you shop at Nordstrom, you get that. And I was so shocked because when I bought those, um, it said that R&Co was doing a gift. And I've never tried any of 
Have I? I think I tried one. I had a little sample of maybe like a, a serum or something. But I love, love, love that they were giving a sample of the hairspray. That's a big sample. So um, that's a kind of a cool time to buy it if you want to try anything. Anyways, I picked up a new lipstick. This is by Tom Ford and it is the Lip Color Matte in Pussycat. And I'll tell you, the reason I got this is because of dang... Erica Jane, which I'm obsessed with, love her. She's probably my favorite housewife ever. Really love her. I, I just, I love her like vibe, her attitude. I just, I feel like I kind of relate to like her attitude stuff, except I'm not like a, a super sexy like stage dancer and all that. Like, I don't know how to, I'm not like, but I, I just, I really like her because she's like those things, but then she's just still like very classy and cool. I don't know. I really like her. So whatever. So anyways, on her Instagram, she was posting she posted this lip thing and she was using this lip color so I was like okay and so I just immediately went and put it in my um, my like wish list for you know for Nordstrom like I kind of put it in that little area so I like that because you don't have to like commit to it you don't like put it in your cart but you put it in your little you know items for later and um, I'll admit I thought it was gonna be a little lighter than this let's try it on let's just try it on together I just have on my YSL nude carrot um, lip gloss with my Lancome natural mauve so I'm not going to take off my, well, I kind of did. I'll just use my MAC. Well, I'll just use a little bit because I, I think this lipstick, you do kind of need a lip liner. This is what it looks like. I love Tom Ford lipsticks, and I really only have a few. I have that Lips and Boys one in Flynn, and then I have the Nude Vanilla, which I love. Ooh. Mm, it's more mauve than I thought. I like it. Mm, I love it because it's a little like darker. It's like one of those like darker mauve colors, kind of like what you look for, or what I look for, like in a liquid lipstick. But it's a lipstick, you know, so it's just easy. Oh, that's so pretty. I was afraid it was gonna be too dark, but I really like it. Okay. Then I got this Laura Mercier Candle Glow, the Sheer Perfecting. What is this? Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder Ambiance. And ooh, I've been really really curious about this so this is in shade one candle glow and basically what it is is it's kind of an all-over powder and I don't use a setting powder so I thought this would be perfect because I could do my makeup and then just kind of like put it where I need I don't really have a good oh yeah I do I have a good powder brush perfect one that I would use this reminds me kind of of those hourglass ambient lighting powders and I'm yeah I was gonna say it reminds me kind of of actually more of like a skin tone like wearable one not that they aren't wearable but I feel like a lot of those like may not give you coverage not that this one will but I just feel like it's a little like fleshier like it's just um kind of a more okay now see I was getting a little shiny so I feel like I put that on and it kind of like made that look better but it also gave it like a nice you know what it reminds me of you know my MAC mineralized skin finish natural ones not the ones that are like crazy colored but the ones that are like skin tone colors like pout like face powders that's what this reminds me of except it has more of a beautiful glow to it without any like shimmer it's just a beautiful oh like satiny sheen. this may be oh my gosh whoa wow it gave me the prettiest finish holy crap God, like, I mean, my. Wow. I think I gotta put on more, too, but that. This this is such a good little, just like. This is a um, F25, which they have these at Nordstrom now, too. So, I think that's so cool that all the Sigma stuff is at Nordstrom now. So, so good. Okay. A few more fun um, makeup y things. This is really funny. Okay, well, I have one more lip thing. I'll show that in a minute. Two more lip things. So. One of my New Year's resolutions were getting my gross hands in shape. Like, I have the driest hands. My cuticles are always gross. I never really do much to my nails. I just kind of leave them natural and cut them and just try to keep them in good, like, I don't know. I try to keep cream on them, but I just, I have a really hard time. So, I'm going to treat myself and get me a nice little hand cream because the, the one that I had been using has run out. Okay, so I thought it's a little expensive. It's a Chanel hand cream. You know, it's a little fancy. But, but I like that it's a little larger so I don't feel like, so like, super insane spending a little more on it but what a beautiful hand cream that would just be beautiful like sitting on your vanity like for me I carry larger handbags so it's not a big deal Ooh. oh my gosh it feels nice 
oh, it smells, it's not greasy. It doesn't have like a sharp perfumey scent like you would expect. Like I thought it was gonna smell like really floral or something like Chanel, but it just smells kind of like a typical hand cream and it's not greasy. And when I say like a typical hand cream, I mean like it's just kind of like fresh smelling, kind of like your grandma's hand cream or something. It smells like, I remember like my grandma had a, what's up here? Like at church, you know, when you would be like using the, your grandma's hand cream. It did, ooh it, made, ooh, it made my cuticles in my nail. Don't, don't, don't look at that. I feel like it made them look, made them look really good. But it doesn't feel greasy. I hate that about hand cream, especially in the car. So when you go to drive and you're like, um, ooh, that's good. Wow. This is bad. I don't want to get addicted to like nice hand cream, but I love that. Isn't that beautiful? It's just, it's just beautiful. Um, I did get another one of my Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. I feel like that was something that I needed to repurchase and well, it is something that I needed to repurchase. I'm obsessed with this. This is the one that is, I use the gel one, the Moisture Surge, and then I also use this one. I use them morning and night. And they've changed my skin. They're just the absolute best. This one, the Moisture Surge Intense, guaranteed is the best moisturizer you will ever use. It makes your skin feel like velvet. It makes your skin texture look, my skin's never looked better and it's just so good. Um, my skin, like my skin skin has never looked better. I just, it's, it's amazing. This is a miracle. And it's not like super crazy expensive either. It's just so, so good. So I had to repurchase that because I am going to use that for a very long time. Um, I did get a little Clinique gift. We'll show that at the end. Let me share with you the other things that I actually, um, I actually picked up. So I've actually had this before. It's the Jouer Longwear Lip Topper in Skinny Dip. And as I've gone through all my stuff, I cannot find mine. I know that I wouldn't have like willingly given it away because this is cool and beautiful and I remember I, I really liked it, but I think it may have gotten mixed up and maybe have gotten like, you know, given, given away. But anyways, so these are made and they have another one called Frostbite too. They're just beautiful, okay? So this is made for using with some of like the like liquid lipsticks or you can even use it, I, I remember like you can use it with regular lipstick or anything really. But it kind of like if you're wearing a liquid lipstick that's just very flat or very matte or if you just kind of wanted like a glossy look over something without like, you know, gooping up a gloss, that's what this does. So let me show you. It's very sparkly and beautiful, but it's not goopy. Do you see how that just gave me like a little bit of a depth? Um, feels like nothing. So excited about having this again. These are just so beautiful. And I used this last night. I put it back in the little things so you guys could see, but it's by it's by the brand by Terry, which I've never had anything by the from this. And it's the Balm de Rose Lip Care uh, Protection Intense. And I love a good rose lip balm. I I just do. And they have these in like a little um, you know, the, I think the original one of these is like in the little, little pot. But I thought this one would be kind of cool to have because I've been liking just like a more natural lip look a lot of the times. I don't put on a lot of lipstick daily. I just kind of use my Chanel lip balm. <sighs> Love that. But I just, I thought this would be really cool. So it has my very favorite lip wand, which is like, or applicator, which is like a little, like kind of velvety one that is, um, this one's very flexible and it's flat. And it smells like roses. It smells like a rose candle, which is, I don't know why I'm think, thinking like a candle. But it reminds me of like a rose scented candle. I don't know, which may be good or bad for you. But, but it's just a really nice clear gloss. I mean, you're not gonna like see a whole lot. It It's clear without being like ice crystal clear. Do you know what I mean? It's just shiny. It's pretty. It made my lips feel good. It's like a little indulgence and it's nice. Pinkish, clear but not like, it just makes your lips look pretty and plump and I feel like that's what this does. It's not like totally, like I said, like slick, wet, ice, crystal clear. It has a little bit of something to it that makes your lips look very plump and pretty and um, but very shiny and nice. I just, I really think this is a good quality lip gloss if you just like a basic lip gloss just to have in your purse. It's very smooth, but also, it's a good one to keep like to use with your skincare, maybe like at night or in the morning because it doesn't have anything like crazy in it. It's not like super, doesn't have any sparkle to it or anything. It's just really pretty. So something that I actually ordered today, this is the second little sample of this that I've gone through. It's the Lancer The Method Polish. So it is a skin face exfoliant that is, it's amazing. It is so good, you guys. I, it smells like lavender. 
it's a little warming. It's like when you put it out on your fingertips and you need the tiniest bit. It's like, not just like it's it's in a base and then there's exfoliants in it. The whole thing is like exfoliants and they're tiny and you can't like even, but it is the most intense exfoliation like my skin has ever felt. And when I rinse it off, my skin looks different. It feels different. And you're supposed to use it before your cleanser. So you use it before your cleanser, which makes sense. And then you use your cleanser and then your cleanser can really like get into your skin. And I just feel like when I use this, my skin looks so good. So it is a little expensive and I thought, you know, I'm just going to kind of hold off. But it is very different than anything that I've ever used. So I did put that in my... Um, in my order and I will I will kind of like update you guys and I do I am gonna do a skincare video So so I was gonna update on a few of these Orbe things, which I think I kind of already have They're just they're very good if you guys have blonde hair and you really want a shampoo That you use every now and then to just kind of tone it and keep it from looking brassy I haven't even used a quarter of see it's very purple I haven't even used a quarter of mine because you don't need to use it very often So I feel like splurging for one that you know is gonna this may last me like a year Like I, I'm not even kidding because you just don't use it that and you don't need to. It's, I think, kind of fun to splurge on, on an Orbe one. There's a few other things that I want to update you guys on, but I may save it for that other skin video. Um, and then do you want to see, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of like, i save this for the end. See, I don't know. You guys want to see this um, little funny thing. So, yeah, I guess with my um, moisturizer, they were doing a little Clinique uh, set, which, like I said, it's kind of fun because, you know, if you order something, where they're doing a gift. Oh, that's a good gift. So it's a nice little bag. So this I feel like is going to be way too dark for me, but it's the um, Chubby and the Nude, which I really wanted to try this, but I do need to get my correct color because it feels really nice. It's their foundation stick. This color is Intense Ivory, and it's just a little too intense for me. And then ooh, a mascara. always love a good mascara. The High Impact Mascara, which I have used before in the past. I was on like... When I was in college, I really loved Clinique uh, mascara. The Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum. I think my grandma likes that, so I might give that to her. And then, oh, this is cute. What is this? Sweet Pop Color Pop Lip Color. Oh, cute. That's a cute little pink. So I'll try that, and if I like it, I'll hang on to that one. Ooh. Invisible Blend. Blended Face Powder. I feel like I have, like, a big fuzz on me, and I can't get it. That's a nice little thing for a gift. That's nice. And then um, the dramatically different moisturizing cream. Oh, that's cream. Okay, so it's a little different. They always have those in their little gifts. So, yeah, I feel like you get kind of a little more for your money when you buy beauty products there. But you can take advantage of, like, when they're doing gifts or, you know, anything like that. And you can, of course, get, like, good samples. Too. Oh, and I did get a sample of this, the Louboutin Tornade Blonde. It says, a trail of golden light, the scent of desire. I've not smelled any of the Louboutin perfumes. So, it's a nice little sample. Do I smell like lipstick? This side doesn't smell as much. Let's see what this is like. Ooh. It smells like something like that my mom had a lot, or my grandma had a long time ago. Like on her little perfume thing. Ooh, it smells like something. It smells like a very old classic perfume. Was it like Oscar de la Renta or something? I don't know. It's very fresh. Not what I expected. I, th I thought these were going to be just like really heavy and kind of weird. It's fresh, but heavy. it is kind of a little heavy. It's kind of fresh. This Laura Mercier, I am really impressed with how it looks. Like I wish you could. It looks really, really good. Yeah, the skincare video will come up soon because it's not just like a normal skincare video when I update you guys on things. This is going to be like, let's get dramatic. It's like it's like a life-changing skincare video, okay? So get excited for that. that. That will be coming up soon. As always, I will link to everything below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Should I tell you what I'm wearing really quickly? This is that top that I showed in my recent uh, winter fashion essentials haul. And I don't remember, but did I tell you guys? that it has pockets, because it does, and it's really cool. Um, yeah, and then in the background, I haven't really done any, I, I need to like hang that, and there's just some random stuff sitting. I kinda don't want anything on the desk. Um, we'll get all that, so yeah, it's still kind of a work in progress in here, but we'll get it, we'll get it all squared. Thank you guys, love you guys so much, hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all very soon, bye guys.